EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida and TPC Sawgrass, live opening round coverage of the Florida Open. We've got a full feel ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at three under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer in good form coming into this one fresh off a victory a week ago. And there's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, uh, this player very simply has the look of a winner. The bounce and the step, the smile, the ease with which they're playing this next round. Nothing like getting that first win in your hip pocket, right? You know it. Well, over the course of your career, there's a handful of things that you always remember. You remember your first win as a junior golfer. You remember your first big win as an amateur. Now, your first win as a professional sticks in your mind for the rest of your life, but this is the professional game. You've got to keep building. It is a birdie at the opening hole. And she'll quickly get it to one under par. 532 yard par five second here at TPC Sawgrass. Not long as par fives go, but there is trouble. That is classic Pete Dye. Still, if you play this the right way, you can get out of here with an eagle three. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Got every bit of that to it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Tracking on a very good line. Legal. Oh, yes. That was tracking the hole. Away. What a cut that was. It's down for an eagle. Now the par three third. Not overly long, but two is a rarity here. Difficult green, and uh, you don't see a lot of tee shots actually finish close here for some unknown reason. Very good shot, taking it in right of the hole, and good look upcoming. Coming off the eagle, this for birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. And on the strength of that, she's into the lead by a stroke. So much focus here, Frank, on 16, 17, and 18. Number four is a hole that gets overlooked, but it's a fun one. Yeah, the second shot here is more dawning, especially when that flag's on the on the left. So you really do start looking at that blue stuff, uh, water. Good smart play right here. If you're not positive you can clear it, but you can't take on that water. And this will be just a short wedge in from there.
No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And the lead is now two here on day one. Fifth hole, good par four, isn't it, Frank? If ever a hole was built for Lee Trevino, who used to love to cut it, this would be the hole. It just looks and screams for a shot that's hit left to right. And that's the only way, really, to avoid bunkers left and long and that one that's all the way down the right side. Smoke that tee shot. Can't believe it finished in the first cut. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Oh, wow, that is some kind of putt. Perfect speed, perfect line. It's in for a birdie. The lead quickly stretches to three here in the early going. Frank, what do you think of the sixth? Pretty short par four. It is, but uh, you come out of that sort of corridor and fairway opens up and then it narrows up, bunkers to be around. Very, very few people hit driver here. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now... Good look at birdie. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. We now arrive at the 451 yard par four seven. Slight dog leg right with a seemingly endless fairway bunker and lateral water hazard running almost the entire length of the left side of the hole. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This will be a 14 foot putt here. Oh, yes! I'm the place to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Up next, the 237-yard eight. It's the longest par three at TPC Sawgrass with a wide variety of challenges, including a deep, narrow, and sloping green protected by grass bunkers. Par is the goal here on this very demanding hole.
A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. An outside look here for birdie. Just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. We close out the front nine with a 583-yard par five, one of the most spectacular par fives in golf. A lake and a bunker on the right and deep woods on the left. Stay out of that. This hole grows narrower as it unfolds. Boy, just machine-like right now. Six birdies in a row, and now another tee shot in the fairway. Three would came out like a bullet. You could just see that first bounce just took that massive kick forward. Never going to stop. Now this for another birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that is going to put a bow on a 10 under front side going out in 26. Wow. Frank now on to the 10th at Sawgrass. A fairly straight par four, but uh, that's not the way to play it. You really want to go to the right, well away from the fairway bunker that runs all the way down the left side that turns it into a little bit of a dog leg left then you're going to come across that front bunker into a green that uh, well is anything other than flat we had good round going here on this thursday and that another fine effort off the tee It's not too bad. Good shot inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Now that's the way to start the backside. A perfect read. It's a birdie at number 10. Now it's a par five and a fun hole, Frank. You can make uh, anything from three to seven here. And that's why, uh, as the start of the back nine, especially on a Sunday, this becomes such a pivotal hole to start a run. Big uh, body of sand down the left side uh, that sometimes the longer hitters can get close to with the tee shot, but really it's the second shot. If you can reach this par five and two, it's a very narrow green. The layup, well, it's actually an awkward layup, Rich, because you've got to push that ball to the left side, almost like a zigzag approach. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there.
good shot. That is home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. This part, that is something special right there. From that far away, to gauge that speed, that is so well done. You bet, a birdie here at the 11. Here now the 12th hole at the TPC Sawgrass. It's a 358 yard par four, so short on the card, Frank, but obviously a challenge. What's the key here? Once again, trying to find that right position on the fairway, and that's down the right side. Anything down the left, that mound is going to block your view. This one started up the right side. Now, that was 50-50 off the tee. Rough fairway. I guess it was more than 50-50. Fairway's fine. Chance now for another birdie. It's a birdie here at number 12. Well, on this back nine here at TPC Sawgrass, you know that the 17th as a par three gets all the attention. But don't forget about this 181-yard 13th. Really a beautiful little hole and plenty of trouble as well. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Slow down. Okay, that'll run about four feet by. Well, Judge, that is in for par here at 13. That's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Now one of the most demanding holes on this golf course, the 14, 481-yard par 4. If you ever you want a litmus test at TPC uh, Sawgrass on who's playing well, check the tee shots on 14. If you stripe it down here, you know you're driving the ball well. Too often we see people messing with the mounds on the right. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Not an easy one, 20 feet away.
just going to sneak on by. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And she's going to stay at 13 under. Now to the 15th, and Frank, I know this is a hole that you really like. Yeah, it gets no respect in my book, which I think is a shame. Just a nice dog leg to the right. And a really two good shots in a three here, which is actually a rarity. It sets you up for those closing three holes. Too often people just take 15 lightly. And 15 has just a gentle nibble that turns into a bite. Just what you want at this point around. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Mm, good effort, but that'll run too tricky past the hole. Okay, a solid par here at the 15. And her score's gonna stay right where it is. Now to the par 5, 16, 523 yards. And the key here, besides the obvious, good drive, solid second shot, is to not look too far ahead. But that's easier said than done, because as you get to that second shot, you can plainly see what's ahead, and that is the famous par 3, 17 and the water to the right. Somehow that ball went through the trees. Actually, it didn't scrub too much speed off it. It's gonna be all right. See that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. It landed so softly. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Everyone who's been there will tell you the walk from 16 green to 17 T is one of the nervier walks you will ever make in this sport and for good reason. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Okay, mission accomplished. That is safely aboard this island green. This is an 11 foot putt. Yes, the speed spot on. It's a late birdie here at 17. Now to one of the most spectacular finishing holes in golf. 462-yard par 4 18th at TPC Sawgrass. Water guarding the entire left side of the fairway. Mounds and trees lining the right. As picturesque and difficult as they come. is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. We're looking at 138 yards left, and the pin on the back portion in the left-hand side of this green. Uh, 
Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This is a round of, get this, 56. So, Frank, today, in a word, incredible. Just made a complicated game appear so simple. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports BGE Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters.